Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to graph the following six linear functions. Let's get started. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. You will notice that in this video, all of, the, all of the equations are already in the form y equals mx plus b, which we like to call the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. There are two important things you need to know in order to graph these linear equations. You need to know that B is the y-intercept. That is the place where these lines are going to, where each line is going to cross the y-axis. Then there is M. M is the slope. The slope is often defined as the rise over the run. You need to identify the y-intercept and the slope in each of the six equations and then you can use those two things to get the two points you need to graph these lines. Now, I always tell my students, write down the y-intercept. Write down the slope so you can recognize it and know exactly what it is. Now, you will notice this equation is y equals 3 fifths x, and there's no plus something after it. There's no number after the x. The number in front of the x is the slope. The number after the x is the y-intercept. There is no number, and that tells you that the y-intercept, that this line crosses the y-axis at zero. It's not that there is no y-intercept, it's that the y-intercept is zero, and that's an important point to recognize. That's why I tell my students, write it down. B, the y-intercept is zero, the slope is three-fifths. Now we can use the y-intercept and the slope to get the two points we need to graph this line. We always start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero, so we're going to put a point at y equals zero. It's right there. That is y equals zero. Then, starting from the y-intercept, we're going to use the slope, three-fifths, rise over run. The rise is three. The run is five. This is positive. This is positive. So we're going to go up three. One, two, three. Then we're going to run. The run is positive. A positive run. We go to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And we put a point right there. That is our second point. We put a point for our y-intercept. We started at the y-intercept and went up three and over five. And we can now draw a line through those two points. That is the line y equals three-fifths x. All right? I think that's pretty straightforward. We're going to do the same thing over and over, the same steps over and over again. This line, you'll notice, is y equals minus x. Once again, there's nothing after the x, so the y-intercept is 0. Now, what is the slope? There is a number in front of the x. There's a 1, and actually it's minus 1. So the slope is minus 1, and I always tell my students, when you the number in front of the x, when the slope is given as a whole number and not a fraction, write it as a fraction. So you can see rise over run. So we always take the number and put it over 1. It's minus 1 over 1. Now the next thing I tell my students is if it's negative, take the negative sign and put it up here on the upper number. Okay, Put it up here on the numerator. And then we can rewrite the slope as the slope is equal to minus 1 over 1. We're not changing the slope. It's still minus 1. These two values are equivalent. But now we can see the rise is minus 1 and the run is positive 1. So we're going to start once again at our origin. Our y-intercept is 0. When we rise negative 1, we actually move down. A negative rise is moving down. So we're going to move down 1 then the run is positive, move to the right again, and you get the other point right there. You draw the line through those two points. That is the line y equals minus x. This line has a positive slope, positive 3 fifths, it slopes up. This line has a negative slope, negative 1, it slopes down. Negative lines slope down. All right, let's go on. I think we have maybe one more on this page. This is y equals 5x. Once again, the intercept is 0, the slope is 5 or 5 over 1, rise over run, put a dot at the origin at the y-intercept, which is 0, and then go from the y-intercept 
We count up one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and over one right there. And that is the line that goes through those points. And that is the line y equals 5x. All three of these lines had a y-intercept of 0. And you know that because there's no number after the x. Now, this is the other case. All of these have a slope of 0. Because now we have a number, but we have no x. That means that the slope is 0 because 0 times x is 0. And then all we have is the y-intercept. The y-intercept in this case is obviously minus 6. Write it down. The slope, just so you know, the slope is 0. So we're going to put a point, because we always start with the y-intercept at minus 6. Now, the slope is 0. It's not really that there's no slope. I mean, this line, some people say this line has no slope. Well, it has a slope, but if the slope is 0, a slope of 0 is a horizontal line. There's no rising and there's no running. It's a horizontal line just like that. That is the line y equals minus 6. Okay, now it gets a little obvious here. This is y equals 1. The intercept is 1. Once again, there's no slope. Put a dot at 1 plus 1, and therefore you get a horizontal line. No slope, horizontal line. That's the line y equals 1. Okay, I think for just for fun, we have one more. Let's see, this is y equals minus 3. The intercept is minus 3. The y-intercept is minus 3. The slope is 0. Put a dot at minus 3. Draw the horizontal line. No slope. y equals minus 3. Okay? So that's it. That's graphing lines from the form y equals mx plus b when either the intercept is 0 or the slope is zero. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all of my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for, vi for this video. Or if you would like to, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Was that helpful? Was that not helpful? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.